Hi, Cancer. It's Elle here to do your love reading. Uh, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, Cancer. So we have some cards pulled here. It says everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you and never give up on something you really want. So it looks like there could be a separation. It might be outside of because somebody was trying to dominate the relationship and fear, scarcity and lack. There's somebody trying to just, they were doing things out of fear, not out of love. There are only two real emotions, fear and love. So it was like, I, I fear that you're going to see who I really am or that how much I love you or how much I want to be with you. And some of them, some of you or some of the people that you're dealing with didn't know how to show love or express love here. It says, love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. So some of you need to turn some of that love that you're giving out to another person. You need to turn it in on yourself. Never give up on something you really want. Whatever it is you want, you can have it. Don't look at the glass as half, you know, empty, but look at it as half full. You can have what you want. You're halfway there. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. What is the situation for cancer? So we've got reliability and independence. So we've got the queen of swords and we have the knight of pentacles. So it looks like an energy of where someone uh, just hesitated before actually showing real emotion. Um, someone was standing still. They weren't making a decision. They knew that someone offered a lot of stability, reliability, a commitment, but they did not offer it. It's like they knew that this person was the one, but they did not come forward. They, again, stood still, standing still out of fear, uh, making dangling a carrot over someone's head, or this is what you did or someone did to you. Now there is, again, separation, breakup, isolation, no communication, outside of the fact that somebody feels like, okay, you have someone else that you're preoccupied with. Now there's an energy of either you cancer or the other person, nine of cups, wanting the other person back, trying to manifest them out of desire. Yeah, somebody, again, stands standing still out of procrastination, out of lack, out of fear, out of wishful thinking, um, failure to pull the trigger. Now someone is realizing that, um, I, you know, without all the distraction, this person, whomever your person is, cancer is realizing that you're the one or you're realize, realizing that they're the one. In the separation, somebody's coming to growth, maturity, a transition in their personality, and they want a second chance, a try. They want to present something to you or you want to present something to them. This could be a same sex relationship. It's like somebody wants someone to make a fast snap decision about moving forward. Someone's trying to do something in a very short amount of time, either bring you back together, either get you back or get you back in the fold, or you're trying to get them back with you. If you guys are separated, there is someone spying. Let's see who you're dealing with and then we'll close this out. Who is cancer dealing with? Short term. Okay, so you, some of you chose another person who was going to be short term with travel. Somebody was getting around, you know, just dealing with a lot of different people, maybe even for money. If not for money, it, you know, all that glitters is not gold. Someone went somewhere else with someone else. But the, now they're wishing. They're wishing that they have you. It could be a, ma a mature man, an older man, someone going gray, going bald. Someone who has a lot of life experience. Triangle, yeah, somebody put somebody in a triangle here. A third party situation. They kept up a lot of confusion out of fear. You know, if I keep this one person around, then I'm going to fall in love with them. And I fear being in love because then they'll be vulnerable. Could be the masculine energy, past love. This is somebody who you have a significant amount of history with. Somebody, okay, let's put that back. All right, so um, let's see. Who else is cancer dealing with? Somebody here needs to just grow up. This relationship could have come into your life, cancer, to offer you spiritual growth. Somebody needs, so this relationship prompted somebody to spirituality. Could be the queen of swords, could be you, could be someone else. It's like this relationship prompted somebody to move towards, you know, asking the questions of why, 
what for, why come, you know, um, questions of that nature to where, you know, you really dig in deep in terms of why I met this person, why I'm dealing with this, why am I like this? This relationship offers spiritual growth. It offers the opportunity for somebody to mature, to really mature in every facet of their life, to really present themselves right, to redeem themselves also. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.